welcome back. Let's do some inequalities for Unit 7 review. Remember, I have to solve this like an equation, so the opposite of minus 10 is going to be plus 10 on both sides. And I have negative 2b is less than negative uh, 40, excuse me. And then I have to do the opposite of multiply by negative 2, which is divide. Now remember, that's the trick. When I divide or multiply both sides by a negative, I have to flip that inequality sign. So now b is greater than positive 20, so 20 is my boundary. I want everything greater than, that goes that way. Alright, let's try another one. So we have variables on both sides. The very first thing we should probably do is get variables on the same side. So let's take a look. Uh, I prefer to first of all combine anything I can. There's nothing I can do on this side. So there, but here I have 1a minus 3a's, that's negative 2a's plus 8. All right, let's get our a's together, so negative 2a, add 2a. Those cancel out, I have 6 is less than or equal to 8. Is 6 less than or equal to 8? It sure is, so that would be all solutions, also known as identity, okay? Either one of those you could have had. Alrighty, next one, absolute value equations. Remember, the first thing you have to do about absolute value equations is get everything outside the absolute value bars to the other side. So I have plus 9, I have multiply by 6, so I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. 6 times the absolute value of negative 5 plus n equals 90. All right. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. That gives me the absolute value of negative 5 plus n equals 15. All right. Now I have two equations. So whatever's inside, negative 5 plus n equals positive 15, or whatever's inside equals negative 15. I'm going to add 5 to all both sides on all of these. And when we do that, over here we have n could equal negative 10. Or when we do it over here, n could equal 20. So there you have your two answers, 20 or negative 10. Be careful. Remember, if you ever get an absolute value equation equal to a negative number, is that possible? No, that would be a no solution. All right, let's try the next one. All right, first thing we have to do is get this in slope-intercept form, so I need to get uh, y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 7x's. We've been doing these a while now. You should be pretty good at solving these for y. 3y is greater than negative 7x minus 9, divide by 3. So y is going to be greater than negative 7 thirds x minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I'm going to start at negative 3. All right. Now, can I go down 7? No. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do up 7 over negative 3 because that's the same as this, right? So up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to put my next dot right there. Okay, so now it says greater than. So is it a solid or dotted line? It's a dotted line. <clears throat> I'm going to make this the best I can. Not even close to being straight. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, now I need all the numbers that are bigger than the line. All the numbers bigger. Remember, I want the above the line. All the numbers above the line would be on this side. So you can have some fun with shading this side. You know, I'm a little more deliberate. Ah, you could go nuts, whatever you want. All right. There you go. Let's do a quick application. Mr. Brust has three kids, and each year he has 1.5 more kids on average. He wants to have no more than 18 kids. So let's see. He has three. He's gaining one and a half more every year. That's a rate of change. And you know this is 18. Now it says he wants to have no more than 18. So which side is going to be biggest? Is this side going to be bigger than that side? Well, no more. This cannot be greater than that. So this has to be less than 18. All right. Now, how about could it be equal? He wants to have no more than it. Could he have 18 kids? Yes, yeah, it says no more than 18. So it could be 18. 
All right, so now we're going to subtract 3. All right, so I have 1.5x is less than or equal to 15. Divide by 1.5. And x is less than or equal to 10. Okay? So he will stop having kids in 10 or less years. Way to go, Mr. Rust. All right, best of luck to you guys on the um, uh, chapter test. Kill it and start up chapter 7. It's been fun, 5 and 6. I know you're probably sick of me. Mr. Kelly's back for chapter 7. Have a lot of fun.